In the shadowy recesses of history, there exists a tale of darkness and intrigue that has long been concealed from the world's gaze. Sturm of Teeling, The Rise of a Dark Force, is a gripping narrative that delves into the enigmatic origins and tumultuous ascent of the Sturm of Teeling, a clandestine organization that left an indelible mark on history. This meticulously researched account spans continents and eras, unveiling the untold secrets behind the rise of this sinister force. From the eerie whispers that foretold its emergence to the relentless pursuit of power, every page is infused with the essence of an emotional roller coaster. Join us on a journey through the darkest corners of human ambition and the resilience of those who dared to defy it. The pages of history often bear witness to the rise and fall of powerful entities that shape the course of nations and the destiny of individuals. Among these, few are as shrouded in mystery and infamy as the Sturm of Teeling, a name that sends shivers down the spine of those who dare to utter it. In the annals of time, it stands as a testament to the depths of human ambition and the enduring struggle between light and darkness. Our tale begins with a whisper, a subtle, almost imperceptible rustling of the political winds in the early 20th century. Europe was a cauldron of ideologies, ideologies that would soon erupt into a conflagration that would engulf the world. Amidst the chaos, the Sturm of Teeling, or SA, emerged as an enigmatic force that would play a pivotal role in the tumultuous events that followed. The SA, known for its ominous brown-shirted members, embodied an emotional tempest of its own, a tempest of fervor, fanaticism, and unyielding loyalty to an enigmatic leader. But who was this leader, and what drove him to create such a powerful and controversial organization? As we venture deeper into the heart of our narrative, we uncover the truth behind the mask of the SA. We delve into the minds of its members, ordinary men driven to extraordinary deeds, and the emotional turmoil that accompanied their allegiance. Loyalties were tested, alliances forged and shattered, and the very foundations of a nation quaked under the weight of their actions. But our story is not one of blind devotion alone. It is a tale of treachery, of betrayals that cut to the core of the SA's existence. As rivalries festered and ambitions clashed, the emotional turmoil within the organization threatened to tear it apart from within. In the turbulent chapters that follow, we witness the descent of the SA into chaos, its brushes with infamy and the pivotal role it played in a global conflict that would redefine the world. The emotional toll exacted on its members and the harrowing choices they faced are etched into the very fabric of our narrative. But amidst the darkness, there emerged glimmers of redemption, moments of heroism, and the indomitable human spirit that persevered against all odds. The final showdown, a crescendo of emotions and epic proportions, would determine the fate of the SA and leave an enduring legacy that reverberates even today. Join us as we navigate the labyrinthine corridors of history, exploring the emotional landscapes of those who were touched by the Sturm of Teeling, a force that rose from obscurity to infamy, forever leaving its mark on the world. This is their story, a tale of ambition, betrayal, and resilience that will leave you breathless and awestruck. The Gathering Storm As the first rays of dawn stretched across the horizon, they cast an eerie glow upon the streets of Munich. The city, like the rest of Germany, was awakening to a new era, an era where turmoil and uncertainty hung heavy in the air. It was in this atmosphere of chaos that our story truly begins, with the birth of the Sturm of Teeling, the SA. Emotions ran high in the hearts of the SA's early members, hope, determination, and a burning desire for change. They believed in a vision, a vision of a Germany reborn, and they were willing to march through the fires of hell to see it realized. Clad in their distinctive brown shirts, they gathered in the beer halls, where their impassioned speeches resonated with those who longed for a savior. Among them, a charismatic figure named Ernst Rome emerged as a beacon of hope. Rome's impassioned speeches stirred the emotions of his followers, filling them with a sense of purpose and belonging. He envisioned the SA as a bulwark against the rising tide of communism, a force that would defend the nation against perceived threats from within and without. The emotional intensity within these early SA meetings was palpable. The fervor with which they sang their anthems and saluted their leader bordered on the fanatical. They were not merely political activists, they were a brotherhood bound by a deep emotional commitment to their cause and their leader. However, as the SA continued to grow in numbers and influence, it also attracted the attention of rivals and adversaries. The emotional roller coaster of the SA's rise was marked by fierce clashes with other political factions and authorities. The streets of Munich became battlegrounds where emotions spilled over into violence, leaving scars that would never fully heal. 
In this tumultuous chapter of history, we witness the birth pangs of an organization that would go on to shape the destiny of a nation. We see the emotional toll it exacted on its members, the sacrifices they made, and the fierce determination that kept them marching forward. The chapter of The Gathering Storm is one of beginnings and raw emotions. It is a testament to the power of conviction, the allure of camaraderie, and the emotional fuel that ignited the flames of the essay's ascent. As we delve deeper into the heart of this narrative, we will witness the essay's transformation from a ragtag group of enthusiasts into a formidable force that would cast a long shadow over history. Unveiling Shadows The essay's influence continued to spread like wildfire, its fervent members fanning the flames of change throughout Germany. With each passing day, the emotional stakes grew higher, and the organization's presence became increasingly formidable. As the essay expanded its reach, it revealed a darker side, one that thrived on intimidation and violence. The emotional fervor that had once bound its members now spilled over into the streets, where they clashed with those who opposed their vision. The brown shirts, once a symbol of unity, became a symbol of fear to many. Ernst Röhm, the charismatic leader who had breathed life into the essay, found himself walking a tightrope of emotions. He grappled with the challenge of maintaining discipline within the ranks while nurturing the fiery spirit that had fueled the essay's rise. His emotions, a volatile mix of pride and anxiety, mirrored those of his organization. But it wasn't just internal strife that the essay faced. The emotional landscape of Germany was shifting, and the essay found itself entangled in a web of political rivalries. The rise of Adolf Hitler and his National Socialist German Workers' Party, Nazi Party, added a new layer of complexity to the essay's story. The emotional tension between Hitler and Rome, once close allies, began to simmer. As Hitler's star ascended, Rome grappled with a sense of betrayal and insecurity. His emotional turmoil mirrored the power struggles within the essay itself, where loyalty and ambition clashed in a volatile dance. In Unveiling Shadows, we explore the emotional depths of an organization at the crossroads of history. We witness the internal strife that threatened to tear it apart, the external pressures that pushed it to the brink, and the emotional turmoil that defined its existence. As the essay's shadow loomed larger on the German landscape, the nation hurtled toward a reckoning that would test the emotional fortitude of its people and the very foundations of the essay. Echoes of the Past in the turbulent era of the essay's rise, echoes of the past reverberated through the hearts and minds of its members. Germany, scarred by the wounds of World War I and burdened by the weight of the Treaty of Versailles, seethed with emotions that had never truly subsided. For many who donned the brown shirts and rallied under the banner of the essay, the past was a spectre that haunted their dreams. The emotional scars of war, defeat, and economic hardship lingered, fueling their determination to reshape a nation's destiny. In the beer halls and dimly lit meeting rooms, conversations often turned to memories of a Germany that once stood proud and mighty. Emotions ran deep as SA members shared stories of lost comrades, of families torn apart by the chaos of post-war years, and of a longing for a return to a bygone era. Ernst Röhm, with his commanding presence and emotional charisma, harnessed these sentiments. He channeled the collective yearning for a return to greatness into a potent force for change. The emotional resonance of his speeches stirred the hearts of his followers, uniting them in a shared mission to reclaim their nation's honor. But as history would reveal, the echoes of the past carried with them a haunting refrain. The emotional wounds inflicted by World War I were not easily healed, and the essay's fervent embrace of nationalism and militarism added new layers of complexity to the emotional landscape. As we delve deeper into echoes of the past, we explore the emotional journeys of SA members who saw in the organization a chance for redemption, a chance to right the perceived wrongs of the past. We witness the emotional turbulence of a generation caught between nostalgia and the promise of a new beginning. This chapter is a testament to the enduring power of history to shape the emotional currents of the present. It is a reminder that the past, with all its triumphs and tragedies, is never truly forgotten and that the emotional echoes of bygone days can have a profound impact on the course of the future. The Enigmatic Leader In the heart of the storm that was the essay's ascent, one figure stood as a towering enigma, the charismatic and complex Ernst Röhm. To understand the emotional tapestry of the essay, one must delve deep into the psyche of this enigmatic leader. Röhm, a war veteran with a fiery spirit, was a man driven by emotional forces that defied easy categorization. 
his dedication to the SA was unwavering, his loyalty to his comrades unyielding. But beneath the surface of his emotional intensity lay a man with his own demons to contend with. His relationship with Adolf Hitler, who had become the rising star of the Nazi party, was a source of both strength and vulnerability. Emotional bonds forged in the crucible of shared ideals were tested as Hitler's power grew. Rome, with his unwavering loyalty to the SA, found himself grappling with the emotional complexities of leadership and allegiance. Within the SA ranks, Rome was both revered and feared. His fiery speeches, delivered with raw emotion, could rouse his followers to fervent heights, but they could also stoke the flames of internal discord. The emotional turmoil within the SA mirrored the challenges faced by its leader. As the SA continued to expand its influence, Rome's ambitions clashed with those of Hitler and other Nazi leaders. The emotional tension between these powerful figures simmered beneath the surface, threatening to erupt into a confrontation that could reshape the course of history. In The Enigmatic Leader, we delve into the emotional depths of Ernst Rome, a man whose dedication to his cause was matched only by the complexities of his character. We witness the emotional highs and lows of a leader who navigated treacherous waters, torn between his loyalty to his comrades and his own ambitions. The SA's fate, and indeed the fate of a nation, hung in the balance, poised on the precipice of emotional turmoil. Whispers in the night. In the heart of the SA's meteoric rise, an undercurrent of unease began to pervade the organization. Whispers of dissent and betrayal circulated like a dark fog, casting a pall over the once unified ranks of the brown shirts. Ernst Rome's emotional journey, once a beacon of hope for his followers, now took on a more ominous hue. His ambitions, his uncompromising loyalty to the SA, and his strained relationship with Adolf Hitler simmered beneath the surface, creating a maelstrom of emotions. But it wasn't just the leadership that grappled with emotional turmoil. Within the SA, divisions emerged, fueled by differing visions and ambitions. The emotional bonds that had once bound the members began to fray as internal power struggles intensified. Amidst the emotional turmoil, the SA found itself entangled in a web of political intrigue. As Hitler's star continued to rise within the Nazi party, the emotional stakes grew higher. Rome and his loyal followers faced a dilemma, to remain true to their original ideals or to align themselves with the ascendant power of Hitler. In the beer halls and dimly lit meeting rooms where SA members had once gathered with unwavering determination, there were now hushed conversations filled with uncertainty and trepidation. The emotional undercurrents of fear, mistrust, and betrayal eroded the once solid foundations of the organization. As we explore whispers in the night, we bear witness to the emotional unraveling of an organization that had captured the imagination of a generation. Loyalties were tested, alliances shifted, and the emotional toll exacted on its members reached a breaking point. This chapter is a testament to the fragility of human emotions in the face of political upheaval. It is a reflection of the choices individuals make when confronted with conflicting loyalties, and the enduring impact of those choices on the course of history. The SA, once a symbol of unity and hope, stood on the precipice of a reckoning that would define its legacy. A secret revealed. As the emotional tension within the SA reached a breaking point, a secret of monumental significance lay dormant, hidden in the shadows. It was a secret that would shake the very foundations of the organization and reveal the depths of betrayal that had taken root. Amidst the political maneuvering and internal power struggles, a faction within the SA had been operating in secret, plotting to seize control and reshape the organization in their image. The emotional turmoil that had gripped the SA now found expression in clandestine meetings and whispered conspiracies. The revelation of this secret sent shockwaves through the SA's ranks. The emotional fallout was immediate and profound. Trust, the very essence of the organization's brotherhood, was shattered. The emotional bonds that had once held the SA together were strained to the breaking point. Ernst Röhm, who had dedicated his life to the SA, found himself at the center of this emotional storm. The betrayal cut deep, and his emotions oscillated between anger, grief, and a sense of betrayal that was almost palpable. His emotional journey mirrored that of the organization he had led with such passion. For SA members, the emotional turmoil was compounded by the realization that their once unified front had been fractured from within. The secret revealed a darker side to their comrades, individuals who had once stood shoulder to shoulder in pursuit of a common cause. As the dust settled and the emotional wounds began to heal, the SA faced a moment of reckoning. 
It was a pivotal juncture in its history, one that would force its members to confront the true nature of their organization, and the emotional complexities that had driven them to this point. In A Secret Revealed, we delve into the emotional aftermath of a betrayal that shook the SA to its core. We witness the resilience of its members, the emotional scars they carried, and the difficult choices they faced in the wake of the revelation. The SA's journey was far from over, and the emotional landscape of its future remained uncertain. The Battle Within The SA found itself at a crossroads, its very identity hanging in the balance. The revelation of the secret faction had set the stage for a battle, not only of ideologies, but of emotions as well. The organization stood on the precipice of an internal struggle that would test the loyalty, resolve, and emotional fortitude of its members. Ernst Röhm, still a magnetic figure in the eyes of many SA members, faced the daunting task of uniting his fractured organization. His emotions were a tempest, torn between a desire for unity and an unwavering commitment to the SA's original ideals. The battle within his own heart mirrored the broader emotional conflict that had engulfed the SA. The emotional landscape of the SA was now divided, with loyalists and dissenters clashing in a storm of conflicting emotions. The beer halls that had once echoed with impassioned speeches now reverberated with heated debates and emotional confrontations. As tensions escalated, the emotional toll on SA members became increasingly evident. Friendships were strained, families torn apart, and the very bonds that had once defined the organization were stretched to their limits. The battle within the SA mirrored the political struggles unfolding on the national stage. It was a battle not only of words, but of emotions, with each side driven by deeply held convictions. The emotional intensity of the conflict left scars that would last a lifetime, both within the SA and in the broader political landscape of Germany. In The Battle Within, we delve into the emotional turmoil that consumed the SA during this tumultuous period. We witness the clashes of ideology and the deeply personal, emotional conflicts that played out on the stage of history. The SA's fate hung in the balance, and the resolution of this internal battle would shape the organization's destiny in ways no one could have predicted. Treachery in the ranks Within the SA's tumultuous journey, the emotions of betrayal and treachery cast a long shadow. The battle between loyalists and dissenters had escalated into a bitter struggle for control, and the organization's once undivided ranks were now fractured by mistrust and suspicion. As Ernst Rome grappled with the emotional turmoil of internal strife, he was faced with the heartbreaking reality that some of those he had trusted implicitly had turned against him. The emotional toll of this treachery was profound, as friendships forged in the fires of shared conviction were torn asunder. But the treachery within the SA extended beyond interpersonal betrayals. The organization found itself ensnared in a web of political intrigue that threatened to consume it. Adolf Hitler, who had risen to power within the Nazi party, saw the SA as a potential rival and a threat to his own ambitions. The emotional rift between Rome and Hitler deepened, and the SA's fate hung in the balance. For SA members, the emotional rollercoaster of loyalty and betrayal was a harrowing experience. The emotional scars left by the internal strife would remain etched in their hearts and minds for years to come. The SA, once a symbol of unity and hope, was now a battleground of conflicting emotions. As we explore treachery in the ranks, we bear witness to the emotional complexities of an organization in crisis. We witness the pain of betrayal, the anguish of shattered loyalties, and the enduring emotional bonds that still held some SA members together. The treacherous path ahead was fraught with uncertainty, and the SA's destiny teetered on a knife's edge. Descent into Chaos The SA, once a beacon of hope and unity, now found itself hurtling toward a precipice of chaos. The emotional turmoil that had simmered within its ranks had reached a fevered pitch, and the descent into chaos was relentless. Ernst Röhm, whose emotional journey had mirrored the SA's rise, now grappled with the painful realization that his vision for the organization had been fractured beyond repair. The once unbreakable bonds of brotherhood had been shattered, replaced by a maelstrom of distrust, bitterness, and fear. Within the SA, dissenters and loyalists clashed with an emotional intensity that bordered on the fanatical. The emotional toll on its members was staggering, as friendships dissolved and allegiances shifted in the face of the organization's internal strife. As the chaos within the SA intensified, it drew the attention of the Nazi leadership, and Adolf Hitler in particular. The emotional tensions between Rome and Hitler had become a powder keg, and the fate of the SA hung in the balance. 
the emotional landscape of Germany mirrored the turmoil within the SA. The nation watched with bated breath as the organization that had once promised a new dawn descended into a nightmarish reality of infighting and division. In Descent into Chaos, we bear witness to the emotional unraveling of an organization that had once captured the imagination of a generation. We see the toll that internal strife exacted on its members, the anguish of shattered dreams, and the despair that accompanied the organization's fall from grace. This chapter is a testament to the fragility of human emotions in times of crisis. It is a reflection of the choices individuals make when confronted with the chaos of conflicting loyalties, and the enduring impact of those choices on the course of history. The SA, once a symbol of unity and hope, stood on the brink of an emotional abyss, and its future remained uncertain. The Tides of War Amidst the tumultuous descent into chaos, the SA found itself swept up in the tides of history. Germany, a nation already racked by emotional turmoil, now stood on the brink of a cataclysmic event that would forever alter the course of the world, World War II. For SA members, the emotional rollercoaster of internal strife was now compounded by the looming specter of war. The once unified organization had fractured, but the desire to defend their homeland burned brightly in their hearts. As the emotional fervor of patriotism collided with the emotional wounds of internal conflict, SA members faced an agonizing choice. Would they stand united as defenders of Germany, or would they remain mired in the chaos of their own making? Ernst Röhm, the charismatic leader who had once rallied his followers with impassioned speeches, now confronted a stark reality. The emotional weight of his decisions, the choices he had made in the face of treachery and betrayal, bore heavily upon his shoulders. The emotional intensity of this chapter mirrors the storm that was brewing on the global stage. The world was about to be plunged into a war of unprecedented scale and devastation, and the SA stood at the crossroads of history. In The Tides of War, we explore the emotional landscape of an organization caught in the maelstrom of events beyond its control. We witness the struggles of its members, torn between loyalty to their homeland and the emotional scars of internal conflict. The SA's journey was far from over, and the emotional currents of war would test its resilience in ways it could never have imagined. Betrayal and Redemption As the storm clouds of World War II gathered on the horizon, the SA stood at a crossroads, its emotional landscape scarred by internal conflict and uncertainty. But even in the darkest of times, there were glimmers of redemption, and the possibility of healing wounds that had torn the organization apart. The emotional turmoil that had gripped the SA during its descent into chaos had left deep scars, but it had also forged a resilience born of adversity. Some members, once bitter rivals, now found common ground in the face of a greater threat, the looming conflict that threatened to consume the world. Ernst Röhm, whose emotional journey had mirrored the SA's rise and fall, now faced a new test of his leadership. The emotional wounds of betrayal and treachery still haunted him, but the spectre of war demanded unity and resolve. The emotional complexity of this chapter lies in the juxtaposition of betrayal and redemption. It is a testament to the enduring human spirit, the capacity for forgiveness and renewal, even in the face of profound emotional wounds. As the SA grappled with its internal conflicts and prepared to face the challenges of war, the emotional journeys of its members were far from over. Some would find redemption through acts of heroism and sacrifice, while others would continue to wrestle with the emotional scars of their past choices. In Betrayal and Redemption, we delve into the emotional tapestry of an organization seeking to find its place in a world on the brink of cataclysm. We witness the power of human resilience, the capacity for forgiveness, and the enduring emotional bonds that could ultimately define the SA's legacy. The war that lay ahead would be a crucible of emotions, testing the organization and its members in ways they could never have imagined. The final showdown. The world was plunged into the chaos of war, and the SA found itself on the front lines of history. The emotional tempest that had raged within the organization was now amplified by the thundering cannons, and the cries of battlefields far from home. Ernst Röhm, the once uncrowned leader of the SA, faced the emotional weight of his decisions as the war unfolded. The organization he had dedicated his life to had been battered by internal strife, but now it stood as a force of German patriotism on the world stage. The emotional landscape of the SA members was one of courage, sacrifice, and fear. They had come a long way from the internal conflicts that had torn them apart. The emotional bonds forged in the crucible of war ran deep, and they fought with a fervor born of devotion to their homeland. 
but amidst the chaos and the emotional intensity of battle, there were also moments of reflection. Some SA members questioned the path that had led them to this point, the betrayals and conflicts that had fractured their organization. The emotional scars of the past could not be forgotten, even in the heat of battle. As the war raged on, the SA faced its final showdown. The emotional turmoil that had defined its journey was now put to the ultimate test. Loyalty, courage, and the enduring emotional bonds of comradeship would determine the organization's fate in the crucible of war. In The Final Showdown, we witness the emotional climax of the SA's story. We see the courage of its members, the sacrifices they made, and the emotional toll of a conflict that would reshape the world. The SA's legacy would be forever intertwined with the tumultuous events of World War II, a testament to the enduring power of human emotions in the face of history's greatest challenges. Reckoning and Resilience As the war's thunderous crescendo echoed across the world, the SA found itself confronting a reckoning, a moment of profound introspection and reflection. The emotional landscape of the organization was marked by the scars of internal conflict, the sacrifices of battle, and the indomitable resilience of its members. Ernst Röhm, whose emotional journey had mirrored the SA's rise and fall, now faced the consequences of the choices he had made. The emotional toll of leadership weighed heavily on his shoulders, as he grappled with the organization's role in the broader context of history. The emotional complexity of this chapter lay in the duality of reckoning and resilience. The SA had weathered the storms of internal strife and the horrors of war, and its members had emerged with a profound sense of purpose and unity. The emotional bonds that had once bound the SA were tested and, in many cases, strengthened by the crucible of war. Comrades who had faced the emotional turmoil of betrayal and division now stood shoulder to shoulder in the face of adversity, their bonds forged in the fires of conflict. As the war drew to a close and the world emerged from the darkness of conflict, the SA found itself at a crossroads once more. The emotional toll of the past was undeniable, but so too was the resilience and determination of its members. In Reckoning and Resilience, we delve into the emotional aftermath of a conflict that had reshaped the world. We witness the SA's journey of self-discovery, the emotional scars that lingered, and the enduring bonds that had withstood the test of time. The organization's legacy was a testament to the human capacity for resilience, a new dawn. As the echoes of war faded into history, the SA found itself standing on the threshold of a new era. The emotional landscape of the organization was forever changed, bearing the indelible marks of its tumultuous journey through conflict and internal strife. Ernst Röhm, whose emotional odyssey had mirrored the SA's rise, fall, and resilience, now faced the challenge of navigating the organization through the uncertain waters of a post-war world. The emotional toll of leadership, of decisions made and sacrifices endured, weighed heavily on him. The emotional complexity of this chapter lay in the juxtaposition of a world scarred by the horrors of war, and the glimmers of hope for a brighter future. The SA, once fractured by internal conflicts, now sought to rebuild and redefine its purpose in a world forever changed by the emotional crucible of global conflict. The emotional bonds among SA members, forged in the fires of war, remained unbreakable. The camaraderie that had sustained them through the darkest of times now fueled their determination to chart a new course for the organization. As the SA embarked on this new chapter, it faced emotional challenges and opportunities alike. The scars of the past could not be erased, but they could serve as a reminder of the resilience and unity that had carried the organization through its most trying moments. In A New Dawn, we witness the SA's transformation in the aftermath of a world-altering conflict. We see the emotional evolution of an organization that had weathered the storms of history and emerged with a renewed sense of purpose and unity. The SA's legacy was one of resilience, determination, and the enduring power of human emotions to shape the course of history. Legacy of the Storm As the SA navigated the uncharted waters of a post-war world, it carried with it the legacy of the stormy journey it had undertaken. The emotional echoes of internal conflict and the emotional crucible of war had left an indelible mark on the organization and its members. Ernst Röhm, whose emotional odyssey had been intertwined with that of the SA, now faced a world forever changed by the emotional and physical devastation of war. The organization he had led through trials and tribulations had evolved, its emotional bonds tested and tempered by the fires of history. The emotional complexity of this final chapter lay in the reflection on the organization's journey, the highs and lows, the unity and division, the sacrifices and triumphs. 
the essay's legacy was one of resilience, determination, and the enduring power of human emotions to shape the course of history. As the SA members moved forward into a new era, they carried with them the emotional scars and the emotional strength that had defined their journey. The organization's purpose had evolved, but its commitment to the ideals that had once fueled its rise remained unwavering. In Legacy of the Storm, we witness the final chapter of the SA's story, a story of an organization that had weathered the emotional tempest of its time, and emerged as a testament to the enduring power of human emotions. The essay's legacy would forever be entwined with the complex tapestry of history, a reminder that the emotions of individuals and organizations can shape the destiny of nations. Echoes in time. In the annals of history, the essay's journey remains an emotional and complex tapestry, its threads woven through the tumultuous landscape of a bygone era. The emotional resonance of its rise, fall, and resurgence continues to echo through time, a reminder of the enduring power of human emotions to shape the course of nations. Ernst Röhm, the charismatic leader who had been at the emotional epicenter of the essay's story, had left an indelible mark on the organization and the nation. His emotional journey had mirrored the rise and fall of the essay, and his legacy, like that of the organization itself, was a testament to the complexities of human emotion in times of upheaval. The emotional complexity of this epilogue lies in the reflection on the essay's enduring legacy, the emotional bonds that had held its members together, the sacrifices made, and the indomitable resilience that had carried them through the storms of history. As we look back on the essay's journey, we are reminded that the emotions of individuals and organizations can shape the destiny of nations. The essay's story is a testament to the enduring power of human emotions in times of trial and triumph, a reminder that the echoes of the past continue to resonate in the present and into the future. In Echoes in Time, we reflect on the emotional legacy of the essay a legacy that serves as a mirror to the complexities of the human spirit. The emotional journey of the organization and its members, a journey marked by conflict, unity, and transformation, is a testament to the enduring power of human emotions to shape the course of history. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. By subscribing, you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you again for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video. You can also help to support of my channels at PayPal details in the description box below.